Hello everyone, John Robinson here, Power Technical Consultant for Eastern Nebraska and Western Iowa. And today, we're going to talk about simple positioning with the PowerFlex 525. Positioning step logic with the PowerFlex 525 is described in Appendix E of the user manual. Positioning step logic differs from velocity step logic in that velocity logic accounts only for time and speed, whereas positioning logic accounts for time, speed, and position. This limits the need for feedback and I.O. into the system in order to control motion. This also allows the drive to either stand alone or act in redundancy with the PLC for process control. Please note. A PowerFlex 525 with simple positioning cannot replace a full-blown servo. The PowerFlex 525 lacks a torque regulation, accuracy, and high-speed repeatability of a full-blown servo such as a Kinetics 5700. To demonstrate the capabilities of simple positioning with the PowerFlex 525, today we're going to use an example where a receptacle is moved into position, material is dropped into the receptacle, and once the receptacle's filling process has completed, it is then moved on and a new receptacle is put into place. This assumes that there are two digital inputs into the PowerFlex 525, one for being in position and another one for a filling process having taken place. All right, and now we're going to move into the setup of step logic with Connected Components Workbench. Now, I've already connected to a PowerFlex 525 inside of a demo kit I happen to have. And I've also engaged in the startup wizard for the drive. So all the correct motor data is input into the drive. And I've also engaged in auto-tune, something which is highly recommended if you're going to engage in positioning. I'm now going to step into the position step logic wizard. Give it a moment to upload parameters. And here we are. After taking heed of warnings, I'm going to move into common settings one. Now, these are all the common settings you'll need to engage in in order to properly set up positioning for your PowerFlex 525. If you hover over each, you'll notice that the parameter that each input setting pertains to will be listed for you, and you can always go back to your parameter settings to reference these if you prefer. Now, first thing you'll notice is that speed reference one must be positioning. That has to be the case if you're going to engage in positioning with the drive. If that's not true, a red exclamation point will show up letting you know that you need to Press that button there and make that positioning. Speed reference two and three can be whatever speed reference you prefer, and you can use a digital input to switch between the three as needed to engage in a jog action to find home again if that's required. You can also either enable or disable reverse depending on your process needs, and you can choose your motor feedback type. Now, I happen to have a quadrature encoder uh, installed on my drive, and if you're going to use simple positioning, you must either have a quadrature or quad check encoder. If you're going to engage in velocity step logic, you can use any one of these options, including none. But for positioning, you need quad or quad check, and today we have a quadrature encoder, so we're going to select that. In this section, you can adjust your XL and decel times, and also your maximum frequency. The defaults are fine for us. Over here are your digital inputs. You can always press this button for typical settings. And here we have our typical settings. I'm going to set digital terminal block 2 to logic input 1. That's going to correlate to the position sensor, letting the system know that a receptacle is in place. And terminal block 3, I'm going to make logic input 2, which will let the system know that a dispense action has completed, which will allow the system to then run back to step 0 to move another system into place. And for digital terminal block 5, I have set as position redefine. Position redefine allows you to use a digital input to tell the drive that it's in the home position. This is something that's very useful if you're using absolute. Uh, if you're using absolute positioning, if your drive is powered down then powered up, you're going to have to rehome the drive. And you're possibly going to have to rehome the drive after a fault has occurred or if you auto-tune the drive again. So having a quick button to set home after you've jogged the drive into position is very, very useful. And here we have our digital outputs, our two relays for a 525 and our two opto outputs. You can also use typical settings. 
and this will let the system know when you're at position or at home. And for this case, I'm going to make relay out one. Uh, let's see. Step logic out. And I'm going to keep these as is. Now, if you're using absolute positioning or even incremental, once you've reached your position, opto out one would then send a signal out to the system letting you know you're in position. And that can be used to coordinate activities with the drive's position. In this case, I'm going to make relay out one, step logic out. Now, what this means is when a particular position has been reached or has been completed, this particular relay will be set to the on position. And that can be used to send a signal to the rest of the system to let them know that the receptacle is in place. Moving on to common settings two, here we can pick our position mode. If you're going to use position step logic, this must be set to either step logic, preset step logic, or step logic list. Time steps and preset input are for velocity step logic and are much simpler and not sophisticated as step logic itself. So we're going to set that to step logic. You can also install your encoder information. I happen to have a 1024 encoder. My motor is a four pole motor and my counts per unit are 4096. Now the find home frequency is simply the frequency the drive will operate at when it's a find home operation, in this case 10 hertz, and the find home direction will be defined as forward. You could make this reverse or whatever is required. Over here you have your tuning parameters. If you're operating a position function in senseless vector torque preference mode, you can use these to uh, bump in your position regulator gain filter and speed loop uh, settings to allow the drive to function uh, optimally between position steps and as it ramps up and ramps down during a position step. Now then moving on to position step zero. You have eight steps that you can run through. The first step is called step zero and then take notice of position units. Now what this means is a preset frequency of 10 hertz and a time of 10 seconds. So while I'm inside of the step my drive is going to move forward 25 units at a speed of 10 hertz, and it's going to stop moving once it's either reached 25 units of motion or it has expended 10 seconds of time. It's going to engage in this action, the forward direction, and it's going to use acceleration slash deceleration number one, which happens to be 10 seconds. You could toggle that to XL decel two if you preferred. Now, select the desired state of the logic output. What that means is while I'm in position step zero, my logic output, which pertains to the relay I said a little bit ago, is going to be set to off. And while I'm in step zero, my movement is going to be incremental, which means I'm going to move forward 25 units without a reference to home. So if I'm in the step, I'm simply moving in the forward direction 25 units. And that's all I'm going to do. To program my logic for this step, I'm going to go to the next step if logic in one is on. So if logic input one is on, then I'm going to move to the next step. Or if logic in one is off, I'm simply going to jump to step zero. So uh, logic input one represents the position sensor. So I'm going to move forward 25 units over 10 seconds until the position sensor lets me know that the receptacle is in place, in which case I'm going to stop and then move on to step one. Or if that sensor is off, I'm going to jump to step zero, which means if that uh, position sensor is off, meaning no receptacle in position, I'm going to move to step zero, which means I'm going to move forward 25 positions at 10 hertz over 10 seconds until finally that position sensor t lets me know that there is a receptacle in place. And then moving on to the next step, step one. For step one, my system's not going to move. So my units of motion are zero. My frequency is still 10 Hertz and my time is 10 seconds. As you can see, you can simply say apply to all and every one of your steps will simply take on these values. Now, in this case, I've had this set to forward and Excel and diesel one because I'm not moving. This actually doesn't matter, but notice here, my state of my logic output is on. What this means is once I reach step one, and you reach this step once that position sensor for the receptacle is activated, this drive is going to engage relay one, which will send a signal out to the controller for the dispenser, letting it know that 
a receptacle is in position. So this is how my system, my drive, is going to let the dispenser know that it's pushed a receptacle into place. Now here and again, my move is incremental because I have no reference to home in this case. I'm just moving forward every time a receptacle has been filled. Now then, for my logic side, firstly, I have never don't step. That means that this is a terminal step in this process. So this is a two-step process. I position and fill a receptacle and then shift it on to put a new receptacle in place for another fill action. Now then, if both logic in one and two are on for my or section of my logic, now what this means is that logic in one is a position sensor, meaning receptacle in place, and logic in two means that a dispense action has completed. So when the controller indicates that a dispense action is completed, it's going to send a signal to the drive, letting it know that the dispense action is done. And this lets the drive know that a full receptacle is in place and it's ready to push that forward and let an empty receptacle go into place. So logic in one and two are on, we're gonna to jump to step zero and step zero simply moves forward 25 steps until a receptacle is in place. Now at this point, my logic is finished. So we can say finish. Go back here to overview. And now with that, let's go to video of how the system operates. All right, everybody. And to test out our setup, I have in front of us a PowerFlex 525 demo kit with the positioning program installed. I'm going to begin by pressing the start key on the keypad, which is our start source. And you can see the drive is automatically moving into position. I'm now going to engage this switch, which represents the photo eye under the dispenser, indicating that the drive is positioned. You notice the drive immediately stopped and that a signal has been sent to the controller to allow it to know that it can begin the dispense action. I'm now going to engage this switch to represent uh, the dispense action being completed by the controller, which is an input to the drive, which will tell it it can move back to position zero. That need only be momentary. I'm going to unengage the photo eye. I re-engage the photo eye. The drive immediately stops. A signal has once again been sent to the PLC to let it know that it can begin the dispense action. When the dispense action is complete, the drive starts to move again until the photo eye is once again engaged. Thanks everybody for watching this demonstration of simple positioning with the 525. Check out the links in the description for more information about simple positioning, and do please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content.